Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Assyria. So today we have to start uh, fighting, declare war on China and uh, try to take at least Nanjing. Uh, ideal would be if we could take both Nanjing and Shanghai and start preparing for the attack on Beijing. But uh, it's hard to say how it will go, right? We'll have, uh, I don't know, two, three, maybe four units for the attack on the city. Uh, I change the queue a little bit. Uh, I want to get a settler after the archer so that I can replace the city as soon as possible. With strength 7 I'm hoping that uh, two archers and uh, two warriors because you'll be able to buy warrior next turn will be enough to take the city but it's a very early war, so it's quite difficult for me to say how much we're gonna need to take the city. But I guess you'll find out in a few turns. So, uh, I think we can end the turn. Oh, one more change that I made uh, you know, with uh, the buffed up hairballs that we have. I queued it up after the shrine. Uh, so, that's another change. Okay, next. Also, the Pathfinder will have... Uh, to Zurich and we'll try to find the worker there. I don't think that we have a chance to get the worker around Valenta because the city is still being sieged by barbarians so the worker is most likely just sitting in the city or the barbarians stole it and it's somewhere in the barbarian camp. Uh, okay let's move this way and we can actually move on the hill and there is a worker. Okay, great. I wasn't sure if we can get a worker here uh, because uh, Zurich seems to be fighting barbarians as well. Not a big surprise with the raging barbarians, but it seems that uh, there is nothing around the city and we should be able to take the worker. Uh, okay, one more turn so that we heal up our units. Uh, no, actually, let's just uh, move. How are we gonna do it? I want to have an archer here and here. Maybe I should have waited for the worker to finish the farm and pillage it, but oh well. It would be maybe 10 gold, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, next. Oh, what's that military stick? Military stick neutral. This might be a worthy ally. And I was hoping that we'd be able to kill this barbarian, but he probably just moved back into the tundra. Or not the tundra, the snow plains. Okay, so which way do we go? Doesn't really matter. Um, I think I'm gonna send this warrior to war as well and just replace him with the pathfinder. Because this one has to stay in the city as a garrison. Um, well, for now, he'll wait. This guy can move north. Fortify next. Religion found him. Wow. Buddhism. Hmm. Fortify. 
And I think next turn we're gonna attack. I'm already sending the warrior. We only have a garrison for two turns, but I need the warrior to arrive as soon as possible. Next. Oh, by the way, one change that I don't like in this patch is that we can't directly see uh, how much happiness we have, right? 100%, what does that mean? Uh, and here... Maybe I'm missing the number somewhere, but I don't think it is here, so to find out, I just have to check the Golden Age and see that we have we get 3 points added every turn, which, which means 3 excess empire-wide happiness. Be nice if the number was just returned here. Is it such a big deal having small number in front of the happy face saying three? I think that would be a nice, uh, nice change. Oh well, change. I return to something that works. Okay, let's move into the city. Actually, we can have a garrison on this turn already. And. Yep, yeah, it's time time to declare. That's a decent damage. I think I have to move the warrior on the hill. Actually, uh, no, never mind. The warrior from the city won't leave. The city is under siege from both sides. And he even attacked, so he might be able to kill him this turn. Uh, fortify... When I hit points, 9. It's probably not low enough for a kill with our own warrior. Oh, come on. Fortify. I think he moved from the city. He has to be here. Yep, and I won't be able to catch him. But that also means the city is down to strength 5. Which means we're gonna be doing a lot more damage. 41 damage from uh, an archer. That's pretty crazy. There's writing, classical era. How many tags does China have? Eight. We have eight as well. Hopefully they have animal husbandry, because remember, we mm, should get a free tag every time we conquer a city. So hopefully they have animal husbandry that we can take. It's hard to say we had the same amount of tax, so it's hard to say which way China decided to go. It's possible that we actually don't get anything from them. Just uh, the flood signs. Okay, I think we call their warrior. Next turn, no matter where he moves, we should be able to finish him off. And I think we're gonna need maybe one more turn, then we can take the city. Also, our own city is growing, so we definitely want to work the forest. And it gives us extra culture and extra faith. And uh, in five turns, hopefully less than five turns, I hope we get some, some free culture somewhere. Uh, we can start working on the Great Library. I think we are getting now social policies pretty quickly. Three, four... Uh, China is an ancient era. Yeah, we, do, we need to meet four more people, but I think we might be able to actually get the Great Library this time. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? 
Start building a road. I think I'm gonna have to build or build train. One more warrior. I mean warrior. Uh, what am I talking about? One more worker. Okay, there's the kill. Now we're gonna need one more turn. I don't think we can take it yet. Next. Well, it's possible to take the city, it just takes a while. Okay, so how does it work with that free science? Ah, we get the attack right away, so this gave us uh, what, 11 turns worth of science. I think that's how long it would take to research husbandry. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. 27 gold. It's empty. So I definitely want to raise it. We get the settler in one. Uh, let's heal up. I think I'm already going to start moving the worker. Because we're going to have a city here, and we want to start improving the deer right away. What I don't like is this hoplite. That is Greece. Mm. That's closer than I expected them to be. Oh, well. Hopefully they have other targets to the north, north, east, maybe. we can start it moving and prepare for the siege of Shanghai. I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna do with the city. I was thinking maybe I'll even keep it. Because it's not a horrible position. I wanted it down here because it's a hill. But um, I don't know if we take the city and there is let's say one building in it and it still has maybe three population I think at this point it's would probably be worth keeping the position is decent I mean it's right next to two resources it's on the river and the forest that we would take advantage of is gone right so can't take that back We have Korea entering classical era. Wow. Look at that. I thought we might be ahead on social policies. Hmm. Obviously we are not. I mean, we just got our fourth. So uh, everybody has enough for the great library. Oh, let's get tribute. Uh, this is also bad timing. We got the next or new tile on the same turn, so we wouldn't get the, or we won't get the bonus. Mm. Well, what can we do, right? Probably should have checked earlier. Uh, the warrior is gonna stay here as a garrison. And we're gonna attack from these two tiles. <clears throat> That's 17 turns. Uh, how did Korea enter? Sure, it's worth it. Hmm. 
What would the free tag be? We'll probably take construction as the free tag. Which is nice, I mean, it's on the way to lumber mills. I think I'm gonna pass on the grid library. We get free library from our own unique building. So that part is not relevant. We really could use more units. We also need another worker. Maybe even a caravan that would go to Zurich. Yep, yeah, I think in this case I'm gonna pass on the Great Library. Embassy, sure. By the way, we do have horses in the range of our capital. I completely missed that. Four horse, that's great. Ah, oh, come on. Any more horses? There are horses up here. But I don't think it's worth it moving the city. We can maybe then get the city, I don't know, here somewhere. That would be probably like a base of operation against Greece later. Fortify. Next. So I would like love to catch that worker. money do we have? I'm just gonna wait for the city to grow and then I'm gonna buy the deer. Make sure that we are again working two forest styles right from the start. As for buildings, we started shrine and then we go har herbalist. Next. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. I'm just going to buy the tile now. Use a Mela unit. The only one that we have is the warrior, and the, I really want the warrior to catch the worker before he uh, takes the city. Uh, no, we are not gonna peace out. I just want to see how much money she has later. Mm. Won't get much from the peace treaty. Oh, there is a Chinese warrior. Okay, I think we'll have to forget about the worker. <clears throat> Oh, 
Why did the barbarian go? Did he just kill himself? Or did he go this way? I think he went north. And that means I can't catch him. Never mind. Oh, hey. Do you have writing? No. Uh, do you want my copper? You don't have money, never mind. Okay, good enough. That is military theory, so that's again full tag, and this time it's like 19 tenths worth of science. Uh, we have horsemen, that's relevant. Siege tower and barracks. I think you're gonna need barracks in our capital first, and then we want to get some siege towers. Also, we want that worker. Uh, so, how does it look like? Three citizens, but no buildings. I'm still gonna keep it. I think I'd rather get market then. Also, here we want to get early granary as it buffs up the deer. And you probably want it here as well. But I think the monument and wall will have a higher priority as we have only one deer in the range for now. Okay, how many people do we need once again? 21. Well, I'll have to wait then. It just means we now can get the worker. I think that should be the highest priority. After that, we get barracks. And then I think I'll get my first siege tower. Also, can we maybe trade? No. Never mind. How long until we get mathematics? Oh, that's still gonna take a while. So I'm not sure if we can take Beijing with just three archers and the warrior, or two warriors. Uh, we got the uh, Spearman upgrade in eight. That could be the difference, maybe. Next.
I think yeah, I'll just stay here until we get those spearmen upgrades. Even thinking about just uh, ending this war, get the money from her, and in 15 declare again. Or we can just uh, get closer to Dago's great library. I think we wouldn't have time to build it. I'm curious who got it. I hope it wasn't a Rome. Um, yeah, we can stay at war, move everything forward, maybe try to kill some units so that we get some science and culture that way. Uh, how does it look like barbarians? I have to check regularly, make, to sh make sure that there are no barbarians camps spawning behind our cities. Wait, next. Hundred and eighty gold. What can we do with that? Problem is we are on our unit cap. Uh, well, we will get barracks. Maybe I'll even rush the. No, wait. We need upgrades. Uh, yep, yeah, that's gonna be the best use in four turns. Hello, Rome. Uh, would you give me three gold per turn? You would. Yeah, I'll take it. We should be able to get the, the copper back soon. We should get the... We, have, we can improve one here. We'll have two more mines here soon. That should be okay. How does it look like with our happiness? Plus one. More than 25% of your citizens are unhappy. Because of this, all cities will grow and produce slow, more slowly. Combat effectiveness reduced. Okay. So how does this work now? Because we are obviously getting Golden Age points. And Golden Age points are or used to be based on happiness. Right, you get, uh, or the amount of points that you got every turn was equal to the excess happiness. And now we are getting Golden Age points, which would suggest we have the extra happiness. But this says that we are already unhappy. One unhappiness from war weariness. Okay, uh, I don't understand this. Hmm. Whatever. Okay, let's wait here. I don't want to move forward until we get the, the upgrade. Oh, by the way, I didn't check. Roma's Temple of Artemis. So someone else got the Great Library. Was it Monty? Completely getting out of control in the early game. Oh, we got iron, and there is a barbarian camp right next to Tsuri. But I think they will get rid of it before I can do anything about it. Let's see. Well, first of all, you want these two upgrades. Probably this one. I may just send the spearmen north and 
see if I can do something about the barbarians. I'm gonna need one more upgrade. Wow, look at all the iron. One, two... Uh, there's iron here. But I think Zurich is gonna take that before we get it. This is in the range. I, I think, actually, when I'm checking the numbers, plus four, plus four for uh, the sparse resources mean there is less iron in every tile. It's It doesn't mean that there are like less iron tiles on the maps. I think I misunderstood the settings. Because with the normal settings, there is either two iron in the poor veins, which would be like this one. Here is now just one iron. And then the rich ones have six. And with spars, they have four. So it doesn't affect how many like resource tiles there are on the maps. They just... They are just worse. But look at that. There is iron everywhere. Uh, this is out of range though, this one is out of range as well, but holy crap, we... there's more iron around China. I thought that uh, with the settings that I used, there'll be like three iron tiles on the whole map. Well, that is very disappointing. I really thought that... Uh, like, fighting for resources will be a thing. Not that we get uh, access to, I don't know, like, tw 12 iron without even trying. And if we really wanted to, we could even get more. Um. Okay, well, that just means we have another reason to rush uh, Lumber Mill. Because, of course, there are swordsmen uh, along the way. And uh, with so much iron, we're going to be relying on swordsmen, it seems. That also means the new worker, instead of working on the roads, is going to just move north and uh, improve at least one iron. What are we doing? I'm thinking that maybe I should build one archer before anything else that's gonna be a garrison replacement uh, up here. We will just be one unit over cap for a while until we get those barracks in our capital. But I need one more unit. Okay, how much money do you have? Now she have some she has some more. We just need to increase the score a bit. 13. Not sure if we can take her capital. I'll definitely try, but not convinced we can do it. Okay, let's send the spearmen north. Fortify. And I think I'm gonna make a cut here. We got everything that we wanted in this episode, even more than what we wanted. I didn't expect to be able to take two Chinese cities so quickly. Uh, how does it look like uh, tech-wise? We have 11 tags. 12 for Korea, 10 for China. Yeah, the uh, Assyrian unique ability is so strong when you can start conquering uh, very early. And the thing about deity, of course, is that the AI 
can keep up so for some time they will always have new text ready for us to take so it'll be a, like having a full effect of the unique ability for quite a while so yeah i think uh, everything looks good for now in the next episode we'll have to focus a little bit more on uh, the economy try to like develop our lands a little bit maybe get another worker i was really hoping that we would get the chinese one but it's not gonna happen he's probably safe in beijing now uh so i may have to even train another one i hate training workers to me it seems like a waste of time but in this case we may not have a choice there are quite a few tiles we need to improve and that with the map that we are playing on it's very important that we get the extra yields from improved tiles as soon as possible uh so that's one thing um and yeah we'll try to figure out uh, if uh, we can take Beijing with what we have currently available I'd be really surprised if this was enough but uh, we may have a chance or if we have to wait for catapults and what I may do how long is it gonna take to, for the border to grow 37 turns how expensive is this tile that is quite expensive I was thinking yeah, maybe I would just buy the horses but with this tile cost eh. I'm not sure that you'll be able to get the money I was thinking that maybe you could get a skirmisher or two hmm we'll see about that uh for today we are done so I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.